Hello, this is Clayton My technical agronomist for DeKalb and Asgro in Northeast Kansas and Northwest Missouri. Today I wanted to discuss how to read and utilize the field health imagery report through Climate Field View. Depending on how you have your settings, you either can receive an email when a report is available or you can go in on your overview page under field health to see your field's latest imagery. Within this great tool, there are two ways to observe what is going on in your field. The first and primary way I'm going to focus on is the scouting tab. So you'll see on my screen here, that's where I'm at. Over there to the left-hand side under the field, you're going to see the scouting tab highlighted. That's going to always be the preset view when you do utilize something like that or this within the tool. And the image you see within the scouting tab basically tells you quickly within the field biomass index calculation using five different colors, it's going to identify the darkest greens are the best or highest areas of biomass, whereas the lighter green to red areas would be the worst or the lower areas of biomass. There is a scale on the right hand side for the screen for your reference. This is a great report for you to utilize and identify if there are any lurking areas in the field and why. Sometimes when I'm utilizing this, I'll split the screen like this, and that how you do that is up in the top right hand corner, the second button from the right, and I'm going to go ahead and split that. And what I do sometimes is I may just start by pulling up the base layer data, which in this example, I'm going to go ahead and, and check out the soil type or soil um, within that and just lay that there just to look at it. Um, within this, sometimes you can figure out what's going on in the field. Not always, but in this specific example of this field, I know that that red on the very right hand side is really where the soil starts dropping off. And then over there to the left side, probably some compaction um, and et cetera on the edge of the field. And so this farm here is a pretty easy one as I looked at this imagery. I knew right away what was going on. That being said, it's still something just that you can utilize to verify. And also you can see for in this, this example, um, just what the last couple, two to three weeks, uh, how we've changed with the stress that we've endured. So... That's one way that you can look at this um, as you're looking at it um, and just really to see what are the differences going on in the field. Um, and over the years, you know, sometimes, like I just said, sometimes you can figure it out by looking at your different application layers, but a lot of times it's just going to the field. I know I've had issues where we found where tool, toolbar was plugged and we had nitrogen applications that were less than what they had thought, to sprayer skips, to a tile line plugged, or to a nozzle on an irrigator that was plugged. Those are the types of things that this report's going to quickly and easily help you identify. Um, the scouting shot basically gives us a comparison in relationship to that specific crop within the field to itself, to help identify any different areas that may be presented in the field. And so that is the goal of utilizing this scouting tab um, function within the field health imagery report. And then, like I said, from there, it's about going in the field and, and verifying or finding out what's going on so that if there's something that we can still correct and do, that's what we want to use this report to help us understand and then to follow through on. The other thing that's nice about this is I was referencing earlier, if you go back to your overview tab and you go to the field health section and click view more, under this area or this grid um, report type thing, if you look under under view at the top left hand corner of the screen, if you want to sort that, you can actually sort by lowest biomass. So say you have an operation with, you know, 30 to 100 different fields. This is a great way, too, that you can sort, uh, prioritize, hey, what are the fields that are showing the most or the lowest biomass? So I can prioritize those to try to see what's going on. And so that's another um, function that's really helpful when you think about trying to utilize this report. 
um, for what you're trying to do. So I'm going to go back into this, um, into a, the field imagery map. And the last thing I want to talk about is sometimes I've gotten questions throughout the years. Hey, I know you get the scattering report, but when I click on vegetative tab, what is that? And so that's just a second way you can look at the field imagery um, report. And really what this is, it's simply a measurement that's generated that represents the crop's vegetative biomass or plant growth across the field. And so this is something that's very important because it's really about gathering a data layer base for us to use within the scouting tool. Um, so it is impo important, but don't expect to see much differences within that. And so that's why I said primarily the scouting function is really where you can, you know, quickly figure out, hey, what's going on that's different in the field. That being said, the vegetative piece of it is important. And um, you got put it in perspective is just think about the type, where you're at in the crop year or the season. And so when that crop is younger and there's not a lot of plant biomass, of course, that map is going to be lighter green. But as we get mature and throughout the season, that's going to be represented all the way back to starting to show less and less biomass as our crop matures and or we uh, get into a, an extreme stress situation late season. And so that's what the vegetative um, piece of the field imagery report, what it is and, and as far as how, why that's so important within the scouting piece of that. And so with that, please make sure you're utilizing this awesome feature within Climate Field View and reach out to your local decal, Basgro dealer, or sales rep if you have any questions. Thanks and stay tuned for more relative information coming from your eastern Kansas and western Missouri team.